Hare Krishna. So welcome again. Today we'll be studying Srimad Bhagavatam 10th Canto, Chapter 31, The Gopis, Songs of Separation. And today also happens to be Rukmini Dwadashi, the appearance day of Srimati Rukmini Devi. She is the first supreme queen of Lord Krishna as Dwarkadish. Vasudev Krishna, when he is in Dwarka, uh, she becomes his first wife. So that is also uh, the apparent first love story, you know, as Lord Krishna is residing in Dwarka, that's happening. So that's been narrated and that's been described by Shuddha Goswami. So please join us. We'll do a little kirtan, followed by studying Srimad Bhagavatam, singing some of the glories of Rukmini Devi, and then ending with Nasima Devati and uh, Nasimde Chaturdashi is also approaching soon. So again, this is also to seek protection from the Lord. Please join us.
Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. 
अधिकम एक्सीडिंगली एक्सीडिंगली जन्मना जन्मना बाय द बर्ड बाय द बर्ड रजह रजह द लैंड ऑफ रजह द लैंड ऑफ रजह शायते शायते इज रिसाइडिंग इज रिसाइडिंग इन देरा इन देरा लक्ष्मी द गॉडेस ऑफ फॉर्च्यून लक्ष्मी द गॉडेस ऑफ फॉर्च्यून शाश्वत शाश्वत परपेचुअली परपेचुअली अत्र अत्र हियर हियर ही ही इंडीड इंडीड दयित दयित ओ बिलवेड ओ बिलवेड दृश्यताम दृश्यताम मे यू बी सीन मे यू बी सीन दिक्षु दिक्षु इन ऑल डायरेक्शंस इन ऑल डायरेक्शंस ताव कहा ताव कहा योर डिवोटीज योर डिवोटीज त्वयि त्वयि फॉर योर सेक फॉर योर सेक दृता दृता सस्टेन सस्टेन असवह असवह देयर लाइफ इज देयर लाइफ इज त्वम त्वम फॉर यू फॉर यू व्हिच इन वते व्हिच इन वते दे आर सर्चिंग दे आर सर्चिंग translation by the disciples of his divine grace is bhakti vedant swami shila prabhupad the gopi said o oh, beloved your birth in the land of raj has made it exceedingly glorious and thus indira the goddess of fortune always resides here it is only for your sake that we your devoted servants maintain our lives We have been searching everywhere for you, so please show yourself to us. Purport: Those who are familiar with the art of chanting Sanskrit verses will be able to appreciate the especially exquisite Sanskrit poetry of this chapter. Specifically, the poetic meter of the verses is extraordinarily beautiful, and also for the most part, in each line the first and seventh syllables begin with the same consonant. as do the second syllables of all four lines hari krishna namo vishnu padaya krishna prasthaya bhutale shrimate bhakti vedanta swami nityananda namine namaste saraswate deve gauravani pracharine nirvishesha shunyavadi pashyatya deshitarine ओम ज्ञान तिमरंदस्य ज्ञानंजन शलाखया चक्षुर मिलितम् येना तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः मुखं करोति वाचालं पंगुं लंघयते गिरिं यत्पातदहं वन्दे श्री गुरुं दीनतारिणं हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा so this chapter is gopi geeta the gopi songs and these songs are in separation so with separation when someone is away then you remember them your love for them increases so this is a trick lord krishna is also playing having gopis realize their fault that they became proud he wants to increase his love you know their love for him so when pride goes in that means there is some room you know in the pot in the heart that other qualities can come in so he wants to fill their heart with love for him so that there is no tinge of any pride anymore and as is given in the purport that these this poetry by the gopis the songs of the gopis it is beautifully composed because they are singing with their heart they have their heart and soul when they are calling out for lord krishna now there are various doubts that can arise so again in the next chapter as we have been saying these five chapters are you know about class dance and this dance shikla goswami very clearly identifies that only can be performed by the supreme personality of godhead while when he places we see parakar sahajiyas you know trying to imitate lord instead of following in his footsteps and then they say that this is you know invoking lust so in the materialistic mind it invokes lust yet at the same time devotees they listen to this past time with full devotion with proper understanding and we have you know every chapter in this particular case or uh, these five chapters in the beginning we address the different doubts that can arise and parikshit maharaj in chapter 33 he raises this question because parikshit maharaj as explained by the acharyas sees that in the crowd there are some gyanis karmis and 
you know, some yogis and so forth, not devotees, but so there are some personalities in the assembly that who seem to have doubt about these pastimes of Lord Shri Krishna. Because in Bhagavad Gita, Lord says, Paritranaya sadhana vinashaya chadvashkritam dharma sansthapana thaya sambhavami yuge yuge. So what are the three purposes that Lord appears in this material world? First is paritranaya sadhana. To deliver the pious, to deliver the, his devotees. Vinashaya chadvashkritam to annihilate the miscreants. And dharma sansthapana thaya and to reestablish religion. Now, these three can be related with the question that Parishad Maharaj is asking. That how is it possible that Lord Krishna, who is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, seems to be engaged in dancing with these gopis, the ladies of Braja, and these Braj gopis are dancing with him. So he has expanded to the same number as the number of gopis, as we discussed previously. So as he had expanded and now that he had danced, how is it possible? And now these gopis, they are chanting Lord's name. So when Parishin Maharaj asks this question, Shridhar Goswami appreciates. Now we have to also understand, where is this Srimad Bhagavatam spoken? First time, Shridhar Goswami is speaking to Parishin Maharaj, who is waiting for his fasting until death. So in seven days, he was told when he was cursed that in seven days he will die. So he has, you know, forsaken, he has given up all his kingdom, and he has decided to, you know, fast until death at the bank of Ganges. And so there he is uh, present and Shridhar Goswami appears in the assembly of sages. So there are self-realized personalities there. Like Atri Muni is there, Gautam Muni is there, we covered, Vishwamitra is there, Vashishti is there. You know, great personalities are there. And in the assembly of such sages, Shuddev Goswami, who himself is a Brahmachari, he is describing Bhagavatam. So he is, you know, from his lips, this Amal Quran is being sung. So Bhagavatam is the ripened fruit of Vedic knowledge. So there is no tinge. It's Amal Quran. Mal means mal, dirt. There is no dirt, no tinge of dirt. And this fruit has been you know, passed on from generation to generation, just like in this tree of Vedic knowledge, a nice ripened fruit has been passed on from one branch to another very nicely. So we should accept it in that manner that this Amal Quran is coming and we should accept it from the vision of the spiritual masters in disciplic succession. So when we say spiritual masters, we're talking about the disciplic succession. While a person can only have one Diksha Guru, you can have many instructing masters, but only one Diksha Guru, the spiritual master. So here we are hearing that as it has been passed on, and Shuddev Goswami has spoken in Srimad Bhagavatam. Shuka also means parrot. So he was Shuka of Radharani. So he was parrot, a pet parrot of Radharani earlier. So that's a different pastime. We have covered that, you know multiple times in the past classes. So he is speaking Bhagavatam. So we know that if a mango fruit has been, you know, tasted by a parrot, that means that mango fruit is very delicious. It is ripened and it's sweet. So it is very sweet and very delicious. So we are tasting this ripened fruit through our ears when we are Hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam is also not different from Lord Krishna. In this age of Kali, which is a time of, you know, the age of quarrel and hypocrisy. Srimad Bhagavatam, you know, Lord appears in three forms. In the form of Srimad Bhagavatam, in the form of Archavidra, the deities in the temples and, you know, in various homes, as well as in his holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So, Srimad Bhagavatam is Amal Quran. And of it, the topmost is the Rastas. Sometimes, some scrupulous 
commentators or you know people who are driven by material they are interested in hearing about last dance because they are looking at last dance from a materialist perspective but understand that it is spoken in the assembly of self-realized personalities where Shukdev Goswami himself is a brahmachari Parishit Maharaj is passing until death he is the emperor of the world who has given up the whole world given up all the luxuries and has decided to fast until death and he is relishing Srimad Bhagavatam when it is being spoken the Sankirtan is going on Kirti that's where Sankirtan comes from Kirtan is glorification so glorification of the Lord is going on so that is Sankirtan Yajna right there it's not that when we chant the holy name of course every time there is glorification of the Lord that results in Sankirtan that that's where Sankirtan is happening so in this assembly how is it possible that a pastime like this could be spoken which could be you know considered even considered impure you know even from materialist perspective it should not be considered that way however Parikshit Maharaj realizing that in the assembly there are people showing some doubts in their faces so he could read the faces and he was he asked his questions as explained in the later purport and what is the benediction of uh, when somebody hears about the last dance and the devotion of all the gopis as how they are accepting their position to be a spirit servant so we identified that the benediction one gets is the first is the anatha that goes away is lust if you hear with the proper mood with devotion with gratitude and humility and with the purpose of understanding how wonderful these devotees of the Lord are who have developed love of Godhead and how they are serving God and calling themselves the maid servant of Lord and even in separation their love is increasing so at the end of 33 or 33rd chapter in 10th canto is where Shirdi Goswami reveals the blessing so there were some doubts people raised so I decided that I would cover this so that this doubt goes away so the last verse of chapter 33 you know the translation is anyone who faithfully hears or describes the Lord's playful affairs with the young gopis of Vrindavan will attain the Lord's pure devotional service thus he will quickly become sober and conquer lust the disease of the heart so it is due to the influence of sex and lust that you know we living entities are caught in the cycle of birth and death so in Bhagavad Gita Lord clearly identifies to Arjun that this is the dire enemy of course mind is the dire enemy and driven by lust it is you know our greatest enemy so when we want to remove lust then we should faithfully it's not just here we have to hear it faithfully, with strong conviction, with understanding that these young gopis who were the great rishis when Lord Ram appeared and at Dandakaranya, Dandak Aranya. So that's where Dandak was the name of the kingdom, Aranya is the forest. So in the forest of Dandak, they approached Lord Ramchandra and Lord Ch Ramchandra at that time gave them assurance from heart to heart that they would be able to associate with him when he appears as Lord Krishna so when Lord Krishna the Supreme Personality of God that himself appeared at that time these sages took the form of gopis of Raj Bhumi so as gopis they are you know associating with Lord in devotion in gratitude and they want to serve Lord so this is where we covered that they performed Kartyayani Vrat just a year before when Lord was seven years old and after a year during the Sharaf Mas, during the full moon night of autumn season this Rasa dance event occurs and Jadev Goswami talks about Vasant Ras in Geet Govinda so again there Jadev Goswami is describing the Ras dance during the spring season Vasant Ritu so here we have to hear it faithfully understanding that these are great personalities who have developed law of Godhead and now they are reciprocating with Lord 
and Lord is actually they are approaching Lord and Lord is reciprocating with them in the same mood. So when we take one step towards Lord, Lord takes ten steps towards us. So, and when Parishad Maharaj asked this question, Shridhar Goswami appreciated it because he got this opportunity to describe what are the three main reasons somebody could think. And there are multiple secondary reasons, but these three main reasons will satisfy all personalities about any doubt. The first was that Lord is reciprocating to these rishis who have now appeared in the form of gopis and they have come in their spiritual bodies so the material bodies by the influence of yoga maya is still back home and their husbands are thinking that their wives these young gopis are resting at home while the spiritual bodies they have appeared in front of lord krishna and that's when this ras dance is being performed second aspect is that these gopis are also the pleasure potency, the expansion of the pleasure potency of Lord. So Radharani and the great gopis, they are all there. So there are 16,000 gopis, of them 108 are prominent. Of the 108 gopis, 8 are prominent. And of the 8 gopis, Radharani and Chandravali, the two, these two gopis are prominent. And of the two gopis, Shrimati Radharani is the most prominent. So again, she is most dear to Lord. And we heard in the previous chapter as how when Lord left all the gopis, when he disappeared from the sight of all the gopis, he still took Radharani with him. And it was when Radharani said, Oh Lord, I am getting tired. So why don't you take me wherever you want to go? So she was saying that, why don't you carry me? And at that time, Lord Krishna said, why don't you sit on my shoulder? And he disappeared from her vision also. And then she was lamenting. And when the gopis, searching for Lord Krishna, discovered her lamenting, and she was saying that, I have made this fault. So he, she's accepting, she's showing us that when something you know, improper event happens, then we should be ready to accept mistake. We should be ready to apologize and correct our mistake. And now all the gopis, they become sympathetic. First, it appeared like they were envious, but they are never envious of an advanced devotee. And Radharani, her name comes from Aradhika. Aradhika comes from Aradhana, worship. So she is the topmost worshipper of Lord Shri Krishna. That's why she is also referred to sometimes as Radhika. And so Radharani and all the gopis, they come back looking for Lord Krishna and they come back to the bank of uh, Yamuna river. So at the bank of Yamuna river, they are now singing these songs in separation from Lord Krishna. And they are starting with the glorification of Braj Bhumi, where Lord has appeared. And so as we heard, again, as gopis, they continue to sing the glories of Lord Shri Krishna they are glorifying him and remembering him, him in different manner. And these, uh, each of these verses are very nicely composed in a poetic manner as a song. And so they have been described. Then they are describing that this Vrishpubi is glorious. Then they are describing Lord's form. So Acharya has explained to us, the Rupa Goswami and Bhakti Rasada Sundhu says, Lord Krishna's name, form, activities, pastimes, and paraphernalia, they are very difficult to understand through our gross senses. Now, Bhave, Grahayam, Indriya, Indriya, our senses are too dull to understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Shri Krishna. Sevon Mukhehi Jivado. However, when we engage our tongue in singing the glorification of Lord or in accepting and tasting prasadam that has been offered to the Lord as bhoga and we are accepting the remnants as prasadam, as mercy, then our senses are purified. Sevon Mukhehi Jivado. Soyam Yevas And automatically, Lord manifests to us. So this is where they are singing Lord's glories because they are constantly thinking about Lord all the time. We also talked about 
दसमाश्लोका स्मर्तव्य सततम विष्णु विस्मर्तव्यो न जातुचि सर्वे विधि निषेध सुर एतयोर एव किंतरम सो हियर द गोपीज आर टीचिंग अस बाय देयर ओन एग्जांपल स्मर्तव्यो सततम विष्णु स्मर्तव्य सततम विष्णु मींस ऑलवेज रिमेंबर कृष्णा विस्मर्तव्यो न जातुचि नेवर फॉरगेट कृष्णा सर्वे विधि निषेध सुर All other rules and prohibitions are sarve vidhi nishedh sur etayor eva kinkara are just the servants, sub-servants of these two principles. So we should always remember. And when we hear the songs of the gopis, previously searching, you know, when gopis were searching for Lord Krishna, they were looking for Lord Krishna in the forest, asking the trees, asking the dodh, asking Mother Earth, asking Tulsi Devi, then again they are constantly thinking of lord krishna and again it, it appears like they are going mad looking for lord krishna as they are carrying out the various pastimes they are like you know they are acting out the various pastimes of lord krishna as how lord krishna when he was just a baby just a few days old kills putna so here again they are first glorifying lord's form so as they are singing the song they are glorifying lord's form that his eyes are like lotus petals his body is so nicely shaped and that you know how he is dressed and that they are just the maid servants so they are putting themselves in the position of giving so when we put lord krishna in the center with the mood of service that is devotion that is love and when we put ourselves and seek sense gratification that is lust when we read each of these verses we see how they are in the mood of serving the lord just like the six gross swamis in vrindavan they were going out searching and calling out oh radha where are you oh krishna where are you so they were constantly calling out to see lord krishna they were looking for lord krishna so in the same mood just like these gopis are looking for lord krishna and now they are singing glories of lord krishna hoping that when they call out you know just like maid servants that's the position they are saying but lord has given them the position which they desire to have lord in the form of their husband so lord is fulfilling their desire yeah and lord is everywhere shri prabhu in krishna book says that lord is in the air lord is everywhere He is in the heart of all living entities. Yet, these gopis are so glorious that Lord Krishna appears in personal form. So, not just in the heart, but he comes out, and for each gopi, he takes the form so they can directly interact with Lord. Now, Lord has disappeared, so they are all lamenting and in that viraha, in that separation, they are singing the glories of the Lord. They are calling out for the Lord. Oh Lord, where are you? Please come back. and the most important thing is as they are singing the glories they are also remembering how they became proud so that was the secondary effect when we hear these past times especially the ras dance one of the other effect is of course lust is curved and then the second one is the pride is curved so again we have to be very careful of the, these two lust anger and greed are the gates to hell so those are there but they start with pride it's first the pride that comes and then you know someone someone thinks of these three factors so we have to be very very careful and here they are singing that you know how lord's features are wonderful and that in separation lord is killing his maid servants and who are the maid servants the gopis they are calling that lord you are killing us with this separation this viraha and chetan and mahaprabhu in shikshastika also expresses that in this separation every movement appears as long as 12 years or more so with the same mood he is also showing because lord is uh, chetan and mahaprabhu he appeared it is he is none other than lord krishna who appeared in the mood of radharani and radharani in separation feels every moment to be 12 years or more so that's what we are hearing from chetan and mahaprabhu in shikshastika and they are saying that 
this is not right and isn't this a murder killing a woman is a great sin so they are expressing to lord krishna that you are the greatest of personality and that you have constantly been saving us from all kind of atrocities danger all kind of calamity and now they are singing the various singing about the various past times in their song as how lord you know saved all the vrajwasis from kaliya snake who was making the whole river the yamuna river poisonous and the lake full of poison and how he had saved them from vatsasur how he had saved them from the forest fire how he had saved them from various other calamities especially that of king indra who had sent the samvartaka clouds and the thunders bolts thunderstorms wind and so forth and how lord so mercifully saved and then they are saying the glory is that you are actually son of a gopi yashoda mai so when you are dwelling in the heart of all living entities how could you be so you know hard so heart is supposed to be very soft and lord is bhakt vatsa bhakt vatsala so bhakt is devotee vatsala means when some, someone something is some very dear to someone they keep them very close to their heart very close to their chest so lord is bhakt vatsala so he keeps his devotees very close to his chest chest and how is it possible that he is instead of protecting he has left them in such a state and he they are even calling out that the demigods are asking you to come lord brahma is asking you to come and protect the universe so you appear as varahate and you protect mother earth and you appeared in the shatrutha dynasty and you are the best of the vishnu so that was also one of the reasons shudra goswami later on gives that lord krishna is the best of the yadavas best of the vishnu is the yadu dynasty in the yadu dynasty is the best and how can a person who is that if identified as best could be engaging in lower modes lord is above all three modes of material nature he says devi he is shai gurum bhai mam maya duratya so he is saying that this material energy is my energy the external potency of the lord and it is gurum bhai it has three modes of material nature mode of goodness sattva guna mode of passion rajaguna mode of ignorance tamaguna so he is saying mam maya duratya it is very difficult to overcome mame vya pratadate so whoever you know serves the lord devi he esha guru mai mam maya duratya mame vya prapadyante maya vetam tarantite so whoever surrenders to me can easily cross over it by that it is very difficult to cross over but by surrendering to lord lord's lotus feet which are perfect boat we can cross over this ocean of nescence the three modes of material nature we can transcend them so now they are singing that you in the form of varaha dev save the whole universe save mother earth at that time and also you have lotus like hands so now they are glorifying so it's it's very interesting that in the same verse how they are talking about lord's form talking about lord's past times and then at the same time talking about the demigods who are worshiping the lord who are praying to the lord for his mercy and that he has appeared to drive away all the sufferings of the vrajwasis the residents of vrindavan and now he is causing the suffering to the gopis so they are you know identifying to the lord that we are your maid servants so why are you causing please show us your beautiful lotus feet and so they are singing glories of the lord they are saying oh lord your lotus feet are the perfect shelter for the devotees and all we seek is the shelter of your lotus feet please allow us to touch them please let us touch your lotus feet because that can even and now they are saying this is like they are saying that even a serpent like kaliya was able to touch your feet because he danced on his hooves and you are you know not giving us the same opportunity you are not allowing us to touch your lotus feet and then they are talking about his sweet voice his charming ways how he looks and how he talks <clears throat> and 
they want their life to be revived they want themselves to be revived revived back because they are feeling as if they are dead bodies in the absence of lord krishna and then look, looking about the activities of the life and soul who are continuously you know, suffering in this material world and about the great learned sages they are describing that when they take shelter of lord's lotus feet how their sinful reactions are eradicated and how they are able to engage in devotional service so that they can go back home back to godhead so he of all the you know incarnations is the most magnificent we understand that lord krishna appeared as chaitanya mahaprabhu in the mood of radha rani antar krishna bahar radha so inside you know he, he is krishna but he is appearing in the mood and complexion of radha rani because radha rani <coughs> realize that when lord will appear in her mood he will not be able to control his bodily movements and sometimes in this madness that drives because of the love of god and he may fall down and hurt himself so she did not want lord krishna to feel the hurt so she said i will be your external covering that's why chaitanya mahaprabhu had the golden complexion of radharani tab te kanchana gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari. So again, she is the Vrindavaneshwari. She is the goddess of Vrindavan, and her complexion is golden. Vrishvanu Sute Devi, Pranamami Hari. So she is the she is daughter of King Vrishvanu and Kriti Dasundari, and she is most dear to Lord Shri Krishna. So here they are talking about his sweet smile, the way he looks. and so they continue to glorify the lord and they using the address they using is o oh dear master we are your maid servant so dear lord and that the day you will show your lotus fa- face we will be you know consider that we are coming back to life and that your lotus feet are worshiped by the great jagdish gods including lord brahma and lord shiva So when we talk about Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, when we hear Brahma Samhita reveals that fact, and Lord Shiva, so Lord Shiva is also glorified Vaishnava Nam Yatha Shambhu. So of all the Vaishnavas, Lord Shiva is the topmost, and he accepts Ganges on his head. He doesn't accept Ganges on his shoulder, on his head, and Ganges is glorified. to be purified she gets a potency to purify one of all their sins to the reactions of one sin because she was she washed she is the water that washed lord's lotus feet and lord brahma immediately gathered so when in trivikrama form the second step lord trivikrama vaman they took the second form which is known as trivikrama and three re- relates to the three steps it took So the first step he covered the whole of earth. Second step he covered to the end of the universe. So he penetrated the membrane of the universe and the wet, you know, waters it flew through, and that was immediately collected. So that water has touched Lord's lotus feet, the toe, and that's Ganges. And this Ganges, when it, she wants to come, and she uh, Bhagirath, we also covered in previous uh, lessons. we bhagirat went and worship because he wanted to deliver his ancestors the 60000 sons of king sagar at that time ganges said that she was pacified she was she was ready to come but she said if she comes and of her the force of her coming to earth is not stopped she will penetrate through the planet earth so there has to be a personality who will sustain that force and then he worshiped lord shiva and pleased lord shiva and lord shiva said yes he would you know sustain the force of ganges so when ganges came lord shiva you know caught her in his jata right in his hair so that's how he accepts lord krishna's you know the water that has washed lord krishna's lotus feet on his head so they are singing these glories that lord you know you allow the nectar of your lips to be touched by even your flute and they are referring to flute not in a demeaning way but rather they are saying that it is a bamboo stick with holes with knots even that bamboo stick is glorified because 
if it is able to touch your lips and previously we heard how gopis used to think that they they believed and they you know behaved as if lord's lips are their property yet at the same time in the glorification of the flute they were singing earlier in one of the previous chapters that we covered that this flute is constantly being kissed by lord krishna as he's you know singing the songs of his flute so they continue to talk about lord krishna constantly and how their mind is constantly reeling about you know thinking about the past times as how lord krishna is saving us saving them and in this manner they continue to sing and finally lord krishna in the beginning of next chapter he will manifest himself so such are the glories of lord krishna as we hear from the gopis and how are they singing they are singing in separation in material world when someone is in separation and if the person you know if the you know the opposite sex who is seeking in separation they basically what happens you know uh, his grace goranga prabhu he covered it one of the lectures it was very interesting so in this material world you know boy and girl their love is basically lust so the moment they have a break you know they they break up immediately after two days you see the girl roaming out with some other boy and the boy roaming out with some other girl so that's that's a lustful dealing in this material world while the lovely dealings is in separation the love is increasing lust is when we want to take love is when we want to give and even with husband and wife as devotees we consider our spouse to be a vaishnava or vaishnavi and we try to serve them we want to give them we want to engage you know to gather in lord's devotion service and if you look at vrindavan you don't see sanyasi yes devashinar comes and visits vrindavan and he goes back so in golok vrindavan there is no sanyasi because everyone is already renunciate in their behavior there is not a tinge of lust everyone is in love with the lord and they are constantly remembering the lord 24 by 7 I, there is no concept of time also <laughs> at the present moment everyone is constantly remembering lord krishna and they are constantly serving lord krishna chintamani prakar sadma shikalp vriksha laksha vrateshu surabhir upalayantam lakshmi sahastra shat sambhramya sevyamanam govindam adi purusham tamaham bhajami so in the special about golok vrindavan it is made up of all the buildings all the roads they are made up of chintamani touchstone you know everything is made up of jewels and all the trees are desire trees so you can ask whatever you want however you have to be pure in your thought there is a very nice story shila prabha used to cover on this actually that there was this uh, wood chopper he goes to the forest to cut wood and on uh, afternoon he gets very tired so he sees a very nice tree with a very nice shade and he sits under the tree and he is looking at that okay it's you know getting late it's you know afternoon is passing the time is passing and he's feeling very hungry and suddenly he has this thought it would be so nice if i had wonderful you know palatable dishes to eat and suddenly hold behold you know wonderful dishes appear in front of him and he suddenly realizes that he is sitting under a kalpa vriksha a desire tree so he is enjoying then he says oh it would be so nice if all this wood would get, just, get, just get chopped off hold behold x rises up and it starts chopping the wood and you know packing it and everything is nicely bundled he's thinking oh very nice and then he desires that oh what if i have palace to live in with lots of maid servants and servants and everyone take care and i'm dressed so nicely so he goes on and on and on with his you know desires as they are coming in his mind and everything is happening everything is manifesting right in front and suddenly he sees that it's dusk time it's getting dark he says oh i'm in the jungle at dusk time a tiger could appear and could eat me 
What if that happens? And whole behold, a tiger comes and eats him up. So sitting under a desire tree is not an easy business. You have to be pure at heart. And we also see, we also see, one chakal patarudhyascha. So all the devotees are desire trees. So we have to care, be careful what we wish for because we might get it. <laughs> and so we always want to approach with that pure heart, with faith, with gratitude, with humility, understanding amanena manadena kirtaniya sadahari. Not having any desire for self glorification, rather giving respects to all and constantly chanting the holy name of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So, as we understand that today is Rukmini Dwadashi, the appearance day of Shimati Rukmini. So, there are various uh, places in various Puranas and various scriptures, she has been identified as an expansion of goddess of fortune. So we also see that Sita Devi was also identified as God, expansion or incarnation of goddess of fortune. And uh, Shimani, Shimati Rukmini Devi is also known as Vedarbhi Rukmini because Vedarbha was the kingdom and her father's name was Bhishmaka. And when we hear, you know, as Shikdev Goswami is narrating the pastime, and that happens in the 52nd chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam 10th canto, so right in the middle, close to the middle, is where this happens. She had only heard the glories of Lord Shri Krishna. She had never seen Lord Krishna. So when Devashi Narad, he goes to the Dharva kingdom and then he is singing the glories of Lord Shri Krishna and she hears. So Shavanam is so strong because just by hearing, she has developed love of Godhead and she loves Lord Krishna. So she sends a Brahman to Lord Krishna. So there is a lot of analogy with Ramayan in this particular pastime. And she has sent a letter. So that's the first letter being discussed in Srimad Bhagavatam, being carried by a Brahman. So again, one who is in the mode of goodness. And this Brahmana is an expansion of Vishwamitra, sage Vishwamitra. When I say Kaushik Rishi, people don't understand because Vishwamitra, his actual name is Kaushik. So he was a king. He was a Kshatriya. And then he took to, you know, sannyas and he became a Rishi. He became a great saint. And it was an interaction after Vashishta Rishi, Vashishta Muni, when he had a conflict with Vashishta Muni. So even in conflict, people can decide to rise or decide to fall. He decided to rise, become a great Rishi, a Brahma Rishi finally. And so Vishwamitra is, you know, he this Brahman is an expansion. So living entities can expand up to nine times. Lord can expand unlimitedly. So similarly, when the gopis are dancing with him, 16,000 gopis are there, so he can expand 16,000 times. In Dwarka Lila, we hear that Lord Krishna has 16,108 queens. Of them, eight are the prime queens. And then the first queen is Rukmini. And she is very beautiful. Just like Sita Mata was very beautiful. And who wanted to uh, take away Sita Mata and marry her? At that, in Ramayan, it was Ravan. The same Ravan has appeared in Krishna Leela as Shishupal. And Rukmi was a friend of Kams. And then he had decided to marry, who also happens to be a friend of Shishupal. He had decided that he will marry his sister to Shishupal. So Rukmi, the elder, elder son of Bhishma, had decided this. So that is similar to Rama trying to desire and enjoy Mother Sita. Just like that, Shishupal is de desiring to marry Rukmini. And just like Lord Ramchandra to search for Sita Mata, she ha he had sent Hanuman. In this case, it's coming in the reverse order. So she has sent this message back to Lord Krishna through the hand of a Brahman. And the Brahman takes the letter to Lord Krishna and 
in the letter she is accepting that Lord Krishna is her husband she loves Lord Krishna and she wants to be rescued from this difficult situation just like Sita Mata she sent back her Churamani and told Hanuman that she wants to be rescued now sometimes people say that yes Hanuman could have rescued her but no she wanted to be rescued by Lord Ramchandra so Lord Ramchandra came all the way to Lanka he defeated Raman and took her and Lord Krishna he doesn't want to spend so much time he is very quick in his action he finds a perfect plan and the plan is given by who? none other than Rukmini Devi so the princess Rukmini is sending this message and also telling her how to kidnap her, how to abduct her you know from when she is visiting the temple and so Lord Krishna goes himself and this place where she takes birth is actually Kundim Nagar in Sadia in Assam and in one night those 800 kilometers are covered by the chariot so Daruka is the charioteer and Lord Krishna's chariot has those four horses and the flag has the mark of Garun the carrier of Lord Vishnu, Lord Krishna and in one night itself right there he goes over and abducts Rukmini Devi and of course as Lord Krishna has left he has informed that what he is going to do to Lord Balram so this is Dwarka Lila not Vrindavan Lila and when we are, we are referring to Lord Krishna we understand that this is Vasudev Krishna so Dwarka Dish is Vasudev Krishna while Lord Krishna never lives Vrindavan Acharya say, he, say that he never stepped out of Vrindavan he is the supreme personality of God yet he expands unlimitedly and his expansion, first expansion is Balram then from Balram comes Vasudev, Sankarshan, Pradyumna and Aniruddha so we are talking about Vasudev Krishna and Sankarshan so they go so Sankarshan is following with the Yadavas army, the army of the Yadu dynasty Yadus and then when Lord Krishna kidnaps Rukmini at that time as the other warriors they actually seeing the beauty of Rukmini they are falling down from their horses and the chariots and when they see Lord Krishna taking away Rukmini they are completely bewildered Actually, Jalasan was thinking that Krishna is dead. He has killed Lord Krishna and Lord Balaam. So when we are saying Lord Krishna is Vasudev Krishna, Lord Balaam is Sankarshan Balaam. So he is thinking, but then he suddenly sees Krishna coming and picking up Rukmini and taking her with him. And so they are all bewildered. So Lord himself comes to rescue us. And Acharya is explained when we read Srimad Bhagavatam, we get the destination what Rukmini Devi got. So this is of importance that when we read Srimad Bhagavatam, we are able to attain the same destination. Just like she heard Lord's glories through her ears and Lord manifested in our, our heart and the love for God had appeared in our heart. Similarly, when we hear Srimad Bhagavatam, love of Godhead appears in our heart. We become clean of all the negativity like all the anarthas so we should regularly read Bhagavatam and how should we read? the two qualities being explained Ahetuki Apratihata Yayatma Suprasiddhati so again so Ahetuki Hetu means some interest so without any purpose without any uh, self interest without any purpose for sense gratification I have to keep a pratihata and it should not be uninterrupted. So, without any self interest and without any interruption, we should regularly hear Srimad Bhagavatam. We should regularly read Srimad Bhagavatam. It's in the 11th canto, Shivdev Goswami has two more processes of devotional service. Prahlad Maharaj in the 7th canto, you know, he covers 25th verse in the 5th chapter, he covers Shavram Kirtanam Vishnu, Smayanam Pada Sevanam. Archanam Vandanam Dasyam Sakyam Atma Nivedanam He identifies the seven processes of devotional service Of that, Shavanam, hearing of the glories of the Lord is the most powerful Then Kirtanam, singing the glories of the Lord is the next And just by doing that, Shuddha Goswami attained perfection While with Shavanam, Parikshit Maharaj attained perfection 
स्मरण तो है लॉर्ड द्वारा विद इनपरफेक्शन जो पर रिमेंबरिंग लॉर्ड ऑल द टाइम एंड हियर वी सी दैट द गोफीज आर कांस्टेंटली हियरिंग ग्लोरीफाइंग रिमेंबरिंग मेडिटेटिंग एट द सेम टाइम सर्विंग द लॉर्ड पाद सेवनम इज गॉड इज लक्ष्मी एट इज परफेक्शन बाय सर्विंग द लोटस फीट ऑफ द लॉर्ड एंड अर्चना अर्चना इज वर्शिप ऑफ द लॉर्ड इन डीडी फॉर्म व्हेन प्रीतु महाराज वर्शिप लॉर्ड थ्रू वेरियस यज्ञस ही अटेंस परफेक्शन वंदनम सिंगिंग प्रेयर्स एंड एज वी विल सी अक्रूरा सिंग्स प्रेयर्स टू लॉर्ड कृष्ण फॉर लॉर्ड कृष्ण ही इज प्रेइंग टू हिम फॉर मर्सी फॉर यू नो हिज शेल्टर ऑफ हिज लोटस फीट सो ही अटेंस परफेक्शन जस्ट बाय सिंगिंग सॉन्ग्स एंड पोएम्स फॉर लॉर्ड कृष्ण वंदनम देन देयर कम्स दास्यम Hanuman, he attains perfection just by serving the Lord. When Lord appears, Lord Ram Chandra, just like Hanuman, he took you know the ring of Lord Ram and found where Sita Mata is, brought back the Chula Mani, and just obeyed Lord Ram Chandra. And then it's uh, Sakyam. Arjun attains perfection by being friend to the Lord. And then comes Atmani Vedana. आत्मनिवेदनम इज दैत्य राज बलि महाराज ही अटेंस परफेक्शन बाय सरेंडरिंग एवरीथिंग टू लॉर्ड कृष्ण व्हेन ही अपीयर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वामन देव सो दिस इज दिस आर द नाइन प्रोसेसेस एंड देन शुड बी गोस्वामी एक्स रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग बिकॉज़ ही अंडरस्टैंड्स दैट इन कली एज व्हाट इज द इफेक्ट इन दिस एज मैन हैव लेस आई यू हंड्रेड इ and kalavas when you get in we are constantly kalav is quarrelsome by nature manda sumanda matyo manda is lazy sumanda matyo is not very intelligent manda bhag and we are very unfortunate and upruduta and we are constantly disturbed so when we are engaged in the nine process of devotion service and we may not remember we are things are right so you may remember sometimes it's very interesting that i kept bhagavatam a place very safely and then i forgot where i kept bhagavatam <laughs> so it took took me two days to find bhagavatam and i was like i kept it very safely that i would be able to find but in this age men are so lazy at times that sometimes we forget when keeping things very carefully so i'm just giving an example that sometimes when we are keeping things very safely very nicely and i kept it on the top shelf very nicely It was right in front, but our eyes are defective. Our senses are defective. So even though it was right in front of my eyes, I could not see it. And then suddenly my son said, "You know, there Bhagavatam is right in front of you." So all we have to do is raise our eyes, and we see Lord. He is right in front of us. He is all around us. So similarly, as we hear in this particular past time, that Rukmini Devi just by hearing Lord's glories. she had developed affection and love for god and, and so she sent her a letter so this is the first love letter is discussed in shrimad bhagavatam that comes to lord krishna and immediately reciprocates and then later on in another chapter when lord krishna is teasing rukmini by saying that she has such a good fortune she could have married any of these wonderful kshatriyas that that are there all these warriors while he is just a cowherd boy and when she hears this and she is doing charmer and more when she is fanning him but when she hears she falls unconscious so she is also an expression of radharani ultimately so radharani expands to be the consort of all the vishnu tattva so she expands just like lord expands so in this case rukmini devi she fades and lord krishna takes the form of his four arm form and he immediately picks up rukmini as she fades and he surprised looking at her love so such is the glorious pastime of rukmini devi 
who is the first queen of Dwarka Desh, Vasudev Krishna. And the blessing she gives us is when we read Srimad Bhagavatam, when we hear Srimad Bhagavatam, when we study Srimad Bhagavatam with faith, with devotion, gratitude, with even with all reverence, making an effort to understand, then we are blessed with the same destination that she has attained, the lotus feet of Lord Shri Krishna. So please, my request is, read this fully. And actually, it is very interesting as I was reading that uh, Srila Prabhupada, he would sit and hear Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami giving lectures after lectures and when he was speaking in English when Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami was speaking in English Srila Prabhupada knew English yet he would not be able to understand the lectures but he would sit there as for hours and hours listening to his spiritual master Srila Prabhupada so again, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami, Srila Prabhupada was giving lecture and Srila Prabhupada was listening as a disciple and even sometimes in Bengali he would not be able to understand but he would sit and that's where his spiritual master understood that this boy is dedicated, he is devoted to engage in devotional service and he is using shavram. So that's why when we hear we get the ability to speak about the glories of Lord Shri Krishna. So please engage in constant hearing of Srimad Bhagavatam, constantly hearing of glorification of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Shri Krishna and his wonderful devotees. Because when we hear about devotees, Lord Krishna becomes happy. And we hear about Lord Shri Krishna, his glories, then devotees become happy. So it's a win-win situation both ways. So Srimad Bhagavatam is filled with the glories of his de Lord's devotees as well as Lord's own pastimes that we should hear and engage in constantly. Now with respect to Rukmi and Devi, there was another aspect I wanted to cover is that she was very submissive in nature. While the second queen, actually third queen, if you see in the sequence, was Satyabhama. So Chandravali, it is given by the, described by the Acharyas that Radharani, she expands into these eight gopis and Chandravali is one of them. And even in Dwar, uh, even in Vrindavan, there are two groups of gopis who are contenders for Lord Krishna. So they are seeking to please Lord Krishna. So Chandravali has her own uh, group of manjaris and gopis. And Radharani has her own group of manjaris and gopis. So there are two groups of gopis. Even there, there is a triangle. So it's very interesting when you see from that perspective. And in uh, Dwarka Leela, Vasudev Krishna, he has 16,108 wives. And Satyabhama appears to be the leader of all the gopis. Yet at the same time, Lord is very much dedicated towards Rukmini also because she is fully surrendered in serving Lord. She never takes the position that I want something. She is always in the giving mood. While Satyabhama sometimes asks Lord for various things like to avenge her father, to you know, satisfy her, or even to even go to the extent of measuring uh, Lord's weight in gold to have Lord stay. Because when Devashi Narad comes, there is a there is an interesting situation created. And at that time, Rukmani comes to rescue her and was able to somehow, you know, balance the situation so Lord Krishna stays while the gold is given to, uh, you know, in return, so in exchange. So that's how she balances. So Rukmani is none other than Radharani appearing in Dwarka Leela. So, of course, because Chandravali is in her expansion. And uh, Satyabhama is expansion of Radharani in Aishwarya form. So that's why she's demanding, just like Radharani in Vrindavan also demands sometimes. And she even rebukes Krishna at various times. So such is the pastime. And after the songs are being sung and the gl glories of the Lordship is being sung so nicely by these gopis. And as Acharya has explained, has explained in the purport also that each verse is very nicely composed. 
And singing these songs in separation, in the next chapter we'll hear as how Lord appears to their eyes and how the reunion goes on and how the Rasa dance continues throughout the night. And the night is that expands, this single night expands to the duration of night of Lord Brahma. So that's 4,320 4, million earth years. That's the duration of this night. Can you imagine? And they are carrying it out. And then afterwards we'll see what happens. So this is the next chapter ends. Kantra Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Anand Kodi Vaishnava Vind ki jai. Please join us in the singing Nasimha Devati, Hare Krishna. Namaste Narasimhaya Namaste Narasimhaya Jai 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 Jai